Hello, welcome to Hayes Camp Outdoors. Uh, today I'm going to be airbrushing a square bill crankbait. Um, I already have one painted up, um, but I'm going to make another one because somebody ordered one. So uh, we'll jump right into that. All right, I already got my base coat on it. Um, you can see the white, Apache white. Um, next, I'm going to put some silver on there. Um, it's got some uh, like little gl fine glitter in the paint, so it makes it shine a lot better. Make sure this is really good. If that turns on like that, that's just my air compressor. Um, I, I'll just coat the whole thing. I'll go over it with more black and gold and stuff. So. All right, next up, I gotta put the gold on there and uh, put the scale pattern. What I use is like a little piece of, I don't know what they're called, in the bath, in the bathtub or the bathroom, you use those things to scrub your body. Um, I just cut off a little piece of that and it creates a really cool like scale pattern on this. And what I do is I bought these clips, you can buy like 20 of them at Walmart for like a couple bucks. And you just pull it over. Pull it tight on each side and you just clip it. Clip it on the bottom like that. Alright, once you get the uh, the mesh all put on there and you got it to the, the tightness you want. Um, you kind of want to check both sides because sometimes if you pull it tighter on one side it makes these look bigger or smaller on one side and the other. Um, so you got to make sure that's good. And next step is... I put this uh, gold on there, which is the same as the silver. Um, it's got the little glitter in it. Um, it's got a little BB inside to shake it up real good. Sometimes this stuff's real thick, so you're gonna have to do some like, uh, get some like reducer in there with it. Um, so you shake that up real well. I like to put the reducer in there first. Sometimes you put this in there, it gets all the way to the bottom and already sets going in and it clogs it all up. Alright, next I'm going to put the gold on here. This is a lure I already have painted up. Um, you can see the gold's only about halfway, like right where that line is. And then it, uh, it comes down around this gill, so you kind of just got to go around the gill and then all the way up. Um, so I'm going to do that part right now. Dry that a little bit. All right, there's the first side. Alright, next thing, after you get all the uh, the gold and however thick you want the gold, however bright you want it, um, and it's dry, then you go ahead and just pinch, unpinch these and take these off. And uh, then you can see, I don't know if you can see that real well, but you can see where the, it's got those patterns on there. Switch it around, there's the other side. Alright, now the last step of uh, painting it is just uh, pretty much black. You just get the top a little bit around the eyes. And I like this little spot right here because it makes it look like a shad. And I put a little bit down here on the bottom. Um, I don't. There's not really a reason why I do that. I just like the way it looks. Um, I think it would look cooler and coming through the water and stuff. But uh, I'll go ahead and do that part.
All right, now I'm gonna get that little uh, shad spot right here and then the big spot on the bottom. Um, the shad spot's kinda super tedious because it's, you wanna get it kinda perfect circle. Just like that. Um, I'm actually going to make it a little bit bigger. Alright, now I'm going to get this, uh, the bottom part down here in the bottom. Like I said, it doesn't really have any significance or anything like that. I just like the way it looks. And I'll give it a little bit different coming through the water, like if the bass is from the bottom looking up. Um, so go ahead and do that. All right, the only thing left is I uh, just gotta put the eyes on it. Uh, I'm gonna put these just plain silver and black eyes on. That way. It looks more kind of like a shad um, just one side around get the other side it's probably hard to see it I always try not to touch the lure actually with my fingers because your fingers get oil on them when you touch it and it can kind of take some of the pain off all right so this is it guys that's the uh, that's the end product right there um, all I'd have to do is take this uh, blue tape off and uh, put the epoxy on, and that would be it. And be ready to go. Alright guys, well uh, thanks for watching. Um, this is the end product right here. I call it the Golden Shad. Um, if you uh, want to order one, or if you'd like maybe this same style, same pattern, but in different colors, I could do that for you. Um, most of the lures that I sell are $7 a piece plus shipping and handling. So uh, if you'd like some lures and get ready for that uh, the spring bite that's coming up, uh, let me know. Message me on Facebook or uh, I got Instagram or uh, email, whatever. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, Camp Outdoors, baby, is it in your blood? Ah.